everyone so this is charles clinton this short video is based on the apple air airpods um, second generation so i just got a very good deal it, we were in the weekend of black friday cyber monday just finishing so from 250 bucks to 199 it could be better could be a better deal but at least that's the lowest price it's been so far so the reason I'm doing this video is because maybe you will encounter the same difficulties or problems I have encountered, which aren't actually problems. They're just um, not owning the Apple AirPods Pro Generation 1 and just skipping from other, Air other earpods, earbuds. So in the past, I've had the Apple AirPods uh, first generation, which as you know, there's no clicking on it. There's no tactile function on it. Great AirPods, incredible. I love them. Uh, they fit excellent. But afterwards, I thought of um, searching for noise canceling options. So mainly because as a doctor, I have to be in rooms full of people, everyone talking and I just want to focus on my thing. So instead of me having to increase the volume a lot of the deep concentration music I'm using, I prefer to add a little bit of um, noise canceling. So actually I ditched the Apple products and I just went for the Sony XF. I'm going to tell you the name in a second. It's the Sony WF. 1000 xm3s which are pretty good i i don't have the i don't have them here with me right now they are pretty good if you're just sitting down if you're walking a little but if you want to take them out for a run or you want to work out with them and all that uh, they just fall off your ears so that's what happened with me so they would just fall off my my ears when I would jog a little, run a little. So yeah, I was able to work out with them, but eventually I, I was already used to them being almost ready to fall and I would just keep on running. They would fall off, would put them back in and keep on running. That's something that basically never happened to me with the Apple AirPods uh, first generation, uh, which means that the that first generation AirPods fit incredibly well for I guess for most human beings so these Sony I had they had a good noise canceling capacity but wasn't wasn't incredible um, I'd say for the time uh, some two three years ago maybe two years ago it was pretty good so now I saw the deal on these the AirPods Pro second generation so I, I bought them, tried them, them out. And initially I had a problem because I was able to reduce. I'm going to show, show them to you here. I have them in a case. I was able to re increase and decrease it there. Let's see one second. I'm going to show you here the control center. Increase and decrease the uh, sound. As you can see right here. We're going to do this right here. Okay, it's not functioning because I probably don't have them on or maybe they're not connected. Let's see, Apple, uh, Charles Airpods. Yeah, they're connected. I don't have them on my ear. So I'll show them to you once they're here on the ear. Okay, now they're connected. So now I'll show you the... Uh, okay, the I can listen to it here but the should go down the audio should go down but it's not working let's see what's going on they have been working pretty well but as always whenever you're doing one of these things nothing works right well you'll have to believe me on this it's probably because I'm also connected to my computer something like that but there's no problem. There was no problem with noise, uh, volume down, volume up, because volume down, volume up is just swiping and you'll listen to it in your ear. 
So maybe I need both. Let's let's check if it's a thing that requires both. Let's see. Don't think so because I'm not seeing the, the AirPods there. So I'm gonna play something. So this revives or something. Okay, I played something and paused it. Now you can see the AirPods there. Now there it is going down, going up. Okay, you just swipe down, swipe up. Okay, but my problem was that I wasn't able to uh, use the press and hold function. So I would press and hold and nothing happens. And I would tap once and nothing happens as you can see here. Okay, so this made me almost send them back in, almost uh, send them to, uh, to the dealer and figure out what's going on. It took two hours or three hours of my life. Remember, I'm jumping from first generation AirPods to second generation AirPods Pro. So I'm jumping from no tactile functions on, a, an, Air, uh, on an Apple earbud to tactile functions. So basically when I was going to put them in the case and give, sent them back in, I press a little harder on it. So you'll see it right here, press harder. And now, now I'm playing what I'm listening. Press a little harder and you'll see it there and you'll, it'll also function. So you have to press harder, it clicks. So that's the main point with this message before you turn them in. Remember that these things click. So press and hold hard, it clicks, maintain, and it'll change, that's it. Now noise canceling. So now press and hold, it clicks, and it'll change, and it'll, it works. It actually worked since the start. I just didn't know I had to press so hard. So this, is, this might uh, help you out. I searched the internet, what's going on. I searched all the keywords press and hold not functioning. I searched the keyword uh, press or, or touch isn't working, isn't working. I searched all the internet, I didn't find any answer. So this is the reason I'm making this video because maybe you'll stumble upon this video and see, oh, I just have to press a little harder and that will just save two to, two to three hours of your life. So that's it, uh, they're great. I already worked out with them, I actually, uh, started I, I was box jumping uh, and they worked fine they didn't move they didn't fall off I ran they didn't fall off I even did some front rolls and all that I was just playing around I, I, I actually did some handstands so I'm trying to practice uh, handstands so I did the handstand I fell because I'm, I still am not proficient doing it so I feel a lot of times I would actually, I'll show you the video. I have it here in my phone. So I'll show you how good these things fit on your ears. So let's see it right here. One second. Well, here you can see I have my AirPods on. I'm jumping, doing the front rolls. There it is. There I go again. So any bad AirPod or earbud should probably fall. They stayed in their place. I also did other things. Let's see what else I did. Look at this one. I was practicing handstands. So I fell down dozens of times using the AirPods and they didn't move. So that's good news, great news. So that, that wraps it up. This wasn't a a review video but it was mainly a troubleshooting video but they have worked great I think they're worth what what they ask you for so as a doctor I can put these on after work speak with people from wherever listen to my videos don't waste time having earbuds that I'm not comfortable with so what the most important thing is that you're comfortable with what you buy so these I definitely would recommend. Um, if you don't need noise canceling at all, I'd say the first generation are a great choice. But if you're like me, that there's a lot of people speaking very loud around you and you just can't go out of the room, uh, noise canceling might, might work. So that's it. See you.